Hello, KingDoug87 here, and I would just like to present a video now uh, about some of my findings when I've just looked into some of the locations, the main locations within Dark Souls 2, and some of the things that inhabits it, and some of the connections to between itself, the inhabitants, and the locations, and also a possible connection to Dark Souls 1. Before I do that, just a couple of things. One, I might mispronounce some things, so feel free to let me know if I do. And two, some of what I'm going to say here can definitely be argued as really being a stretch. It's just coincidence and I'm looking way too much into it. And again, feel free to let me know if that is the case. Uh, but let's begin. Now, I'll try and speak slowly, but I'm just a little excited to talk about this kind of stuff. Um, you'll probably hear it in my voice. And I also apologize for the amateur job using Microsoft Paint, but I thought it was the best way to present these ideas. Now, let's begin with Majula. Now, Majula has a bonfire in it known as the Far Fire Bonfire. And what I like to do is I like to look at the names of things and see where their names would have come from, what connections they have with other things um, in the area that have and their names. And to begin with, of course, I noticed a letter that appeared in both of these, the names of the bonfire and the name of the location, being the letter A. And I thought it was nothing, you know, A is a pretty common letter. But then I looked at who inhabited the area. We have the Emerald Herald, Lenegrast, Cloanne, and Rosabeth. Again, all containing the letter, the letter A. Now, it could be a bit of a coincidence, but let's look who else inhabits the area. Cahillian, Solden. Shaqua, Gilligan, Marlin, Kale, Melentia, and Leisha. Again, all containing the letter A. Now, there is no question that it could all just be coincidence, and I even thought that as well, but I still looked into it further. The Emerald Herald is known as Shanalot, Lenegrast is a blacksmith, Cloanne is a stone trader, Rosabeth is of Melfia, Solden is crestfallen, Gilligan is a laddersmith, Molin is an armorer, Kale is a cartographer, Melentia is known also as the Merchant Hag. Now, what are the other three? Leisha sells miracles, Carhelion sells magic, sorceries, but for argument's sake, magic, and Xiao Kua, well, she's a cat. And again, one letter is in common between all of these words, the letter A. Now, in Majula, there are two covenants which one can join, the Way of Blue and the Company of Champions. And again, within the names, features a similar letter, similar letter, the letter A. Now, it's upon that that I've decided that Majula seems to encompass or resolve, revolve around the letter A. And I decided to see if other locations also followed this same principle. And from Majula, the player is tasked to set out to find the four great souls. So that's where I went. I went to where the four great souls were located to see what connections, other connections, I could find. In the Lost Bastille resides the Lost Sinner. Both, of course, within their names have in common the letter L. Another area within the Lost Bastille is Belfry Luna. The player also has the ability to join the Bell Covenant. Also, we can summon Pilgrim Belclair, and is one of the first places we in, come in contact with Lucatel. Also, the other bosses of the area include the Ruined Sentinels, Gargoyles, and the player can also be invaded by Vogel the Sinner. Now, within each of these names contains the letter L, and there are other things in the area which also as well. Some of the enemies like the Jailer and the Royal Swordsman, and also there's the... NPC, the Strait of Alaphus, who's located in a cell. The area seems to revolve again <laughs> around the letter L. Now, the next great soul on the list, we go down the pit in Majula towards the Grave of Saints, then the Gutter, and then residing at the very end is the Rotten. And the first letter which really sticks out to me across all three is the letter R. And well, let's have a look at the things that reside in the area. The first bonfire of the area is known as Harvel's Resting Place. Uh, it sits just outside of the Rat Covenant, which is guarded by the Royal Rat Vanguard. The player can also be invaded by Roy the Explorer. Now, this area is also littered with Ferris Lockstones. The leader of the Rat Covenant, the Rat King, is sitting there. And deep within the gutter is very much a, a 
like very much emphasis on the forgotten so a lot of things get thrown down the gutter for those that are forgotten but there is also many doors known as the forgotten doors which is opened by the forgotten key and within each of these of course names contains the letter R and there's other things down there as well which also contain it such as Havel's armor but Havel was also known as Havel the rock uh, Melinda the butcher and Lone Schmidt the hunter and other things so again the area seems to revolve around the letter R now if this is starting to get too much speculation and just too out there for you I do apologize but um, I, I ask that you just keep holding on because it is going somewhere but the next on the list is the Iron Keep home of the old Iron King now straight away into the things that reside in the area there's M Major Magarold, who of course is the NPC that enables you to go into the Dragon Covenant. There's the small, um, the first boss, the Smelted Demon, and the area is populated by the Alone Knights and Ironclad Soldiers. And the other area within the area is Belfry Soul. Again, each name of this area contains within it the letter O. So again, I'm leaving O as part of this area. Now this was the time where I started to really question what I was thinking because the next area is Brightstone Cove and in there resides Freya or, or Freya, Freya and I couldn't really see the connection but other people locating in this area is Cromwell, it's where Peyton and Creighton end up and of course the remains of, of Seath are here and I couldn't necessarily see the connection but then I realised that each Great Soul final boss, the first letter of their name was in correlation to the letter that the area revolved around. So that was like the Rotten was R, Old Iron King was O, and Lost Sinner was L. And Freya's full name is Duke's Dear Freya. And that's when I started to see more of a connection between what was around it. And the first letter, D. Now Brightstone Cove is known as Tesla Dora, and Cromwell is a Pardoner, Pate is Mild Mannered, Creighton is a Wanderer, and Seath is a Dragon. Each one of these words containing the letter D. Now, also within the area, it's packed full of spiders. Right outside of its location is the Doors of Pharos. And of course, the area contains the greatest NPC summon of Dark Souls 2, Ashen Knight Boyd. So it was there that I concluded that that area revolved around the letter D. And that's where I thought I would have left the entire thing. But there was still a part of me that thought that maybe this was a clue to a greater thing. And not just a way they named some some particular items or areas or names. So I decided to check out one last place. Because when you obtain all four great souls, you travel to this place. It's Drangleia Castle. And this time I went straight to the main boss of the area, Nessandra. And what does her name start with but the letter N, which also appears in Drangleia Castle. And these are some of the things it also appears in. To get to Drang Lake Castle, you must pass through the Shrine of Winter, where you were met upon by Chancellor Welliger. You must fight Cyan and Stone Soldiers, and you can also fight Ruined Sentinels. One of the other bosses in the area is the Twin Dragon Riders, and you can also locate and imprison Milfinito. Another boss of the area is the Looking Glass Knight, and then when you come back, you learn the true name of Shanalot, you have one more chance to summon Benhart or Ven or and Vengal, and it's also where you leave to towards the Throne of Want. Each of these names contains the letter N, which is what Nassandra begins with. Hence, the area's names revolve around the letter N. Is this mere coincidence? Or is it just a way that the creators decided their names? Or is it something else? Is it a key to Drang Lake's pass? I'll see you next time.